اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to discuss how to get the results reported from SEM in R. Now that we have got our model estimated and we have put in all our results in the summary object, how do we report these results in our thesis or in our paper? So here is a format or a template for reporting your results. So we start with our measurement model and what to do or what to put in the measurement model we are going to just discuss now. The first thing that we are going to put in is factor loadings, factor loadings for each of the indicators here. So where do you get this? Now again, quick recap, library, data loaded, had checked your measurement model specified with one, two, three, four, five latent variables. And then we've got our structural model, that is your structural relationships specified. You estimate your model, that's it, your measurement model, your structural model, and you want to estimate the PLS algorithm. This is the data. These are the two models to be estimated. And then obviously you put in this simple underscore model that you estimated and generate a summary and store the summary here in this object. Now you can display the contents by just simply calling the object. You can have specific sub objects by just using the dollar sign. Now let's say first of all I'm interested in the loadings. So how do you get the loadings? What you need to do is you simply call this loading objects here and this will display your loadings here. So let's run it. Now here are your loadings. Obviously I did run it before so I just select this and I just press the run here. If it is the first time obviously you select the whole text. Now I've got the loadings here but I do not want the loadings here. Now you can copy it from here but then you will have to reformat it but that's going to take a long time. So what I'll do is I'll simply put it in a CSV file here. So write.csv and what do you want to write? I want to write the loadings. Where do you want to write it? Into this particular file. Where will this file be stored in the same directory as your this R file? So you run it and let's look at it here. So this is the folder where I've got my R file evaluating reflective model and where is my loadings? So here is my factor loadings file. I'm just going to click it open and here are my results so what you can do is just simply copy it and you can put it in your word file okay now we do not go up until this decimal point so we'll just select it right click it format cells number let's go up until three decimal points okay and look at this all good now the next step just simply copy it and you can paste it here in this table or just simply obviously in your case if you won't have the table so just simply paste it here here it is now here are your results you can obviously remove the zeros if you want and if it's a research paper obviously what we do is we put in a heading here as loadings and maybe a new row as vision just to identify the constructs let's say another one here development and then all these loadings are put in in single column and then in these columns here we can put in the reliability and validity results. So that is when you do a research paper. Now moving on, once you have reported the factor loadings, the next thing is you have to do the reliability analysis. Simply again, you can report the indicators loading as well in another column. And now let's do the VIF can be reported like this again. Let's do the reliability, you read it and then you write it into your reliability file. And where are the results? Look at this, reliability. Now here are your reliability results. Now what you do is, obviously you can change the format, format cells. Let's do three decimal points, press OK. Now obviously you can just simply copy it from here and you can put it in your document here. Again, similarly, you can call convergent validity function and report it like this here. 
whether it was established or not and then the table where is the table again here is the table you can have obviously uh, the reliability table has the AVE values followed by that you can have your discriminant validity what it is then each discriminant validity assessment for the locker criterion cross loadings and HTMT where are they just simply get them write them in your CSV file and this is how you write it just recall in this function give it the arguments it need and you will have it in the same directory as your .r file saved this is how you can simply report your reflective model thank you very much